I hope y'all ready for this one. We dropping it. 300 in the building with four in the air. If that's how you're feeling, my wheel stays spinning, deal stays winning. I need me a grill so I can stay grinning. Cheese like cheddar, but better. I'm trading my truck for a fold over Retta and make that mozzarella with my ladies and the fellas and Jamil's aviator. He did Roxy got the Jetta with the double ski racks and the hum on the hat. She be coming round the mountain. Woo, you ready for that? Get in the back, tell her where you're about to be at. I guarantee with the speed give up the contact in four feet something like that beat the Flintstones I'm going back hotter than the fire brimstone stack two racks Ronnie about to give me a shot cause even he know the 300 putting in work I'm gone yeah it's been one of them crazy weekends Uber and Lyft has been throwing nothing but trash out here so of course you know me I'm I'm doing private rides today is what Saturday we got Barry Jackson in town had the ASU game last night it was that was a complete bust all the streets were closed and everything like that. So tonight I decided just to do private rides. And so far I've done I've done 25 miles of, of the trip. I've done 25 miles of it so far. I gotta pick them up and take them 25 miles back. I'm right down the street from them now. I'm gonna do probably some app rides while I'm in this area, like real short stuff. But I mean, just for the 50 miles, the 50 miles, 240 bucks. That's it, 240 bucks. And most of it was waiting. Most of the time was just sitting waiting in front of the house for the people to come out. But, you know, and the guy was like, well, I'll tip you. You know, when you come pick us up, I'll just tip you or whatever. I was like, man, you ain't got to tip me. Don't worry about it, man. He was like, no, I'll tip you. He said, I don't, I don't have anything on me right now. I was like, oh, psh, you're good. You're good. But that's how I, I tell you, people want to pay us. Now, had I did this through HUM, I would have made about probably 90 bucks. About 90 bucks one way. 90, about $180 round trip maybe. 170 180 bucks. But when you set your own prices... You your own private driver, you just say, hey, this is worth my time, my opportunity, because I could be out right now doing these Barrett Jackson rides or whatever, this and that. I mean, there's a lot of cars. I'm looking at all these cars all over the place. It was just a lady here with a 1999 a Honda Prelude. Super clean car. Super clean. I was like, she said, every time I go somewhere, people offer to buy this car. I'm like, I bet, I bet. But if you guys aren't out there making money, doing what you can do outside of these apps, you're going to lose. You're going to lose. Private is the only way to go right now. Because even the upper tiers, the black cars, the black SUVs, they're getting hit harder. They're taking half the money from us, at least half the money. They're upgrading a lot of people on the lift. And they're putting them in black or black SUV because nobody's picking them up as lift. Because they're paying, they're not paying enough on lift. So people are just sitting there. They're not paying on XL. Nobody's taking the XL rides. They'll sit there and, and allow these people to book an XL. No XL will take it, so they'll move them up to black or black SUV. And guess what happens? They're shorting us now. Because we'll I'll do the ride. I'm like, dude, this is 24 bucks. And it's like, you know, seven, eight miles, 24 bucks. And then I'll go get a black SUV that'll pay me like $30 for three miles. Right behind it, like, dude, some they're not playing black rates. And then when I did a black SUV, they charged to do like $56, end up giving me like 27 out of the 56. Lyft is all over the boards. These apps are all over the boards. They're in disarray right now. They have no idea what they're doing. So what we're doing is just private rides. If you got to talk to your client, talk to somebody, let people know, hey, listen, if you need a ride tonight, a couple of my clients was down in Tempe hitting me up. And I was like, hey, actually, I'm up in Scottsdale tonight. I'm not down in Tempe, man. I was like, oh, man, okay, next time, next time. And I said, well, I can find you a ride. I said, oh, don't worry about it. We'll be here for a while next time. It's all good. I said, okay, cool. People out there know that drivers are, we're taking our market back. We're taking the industry back. We're not letting these apps just kind of rip and run and do what they want to do with us no more. And the apps know that, which is why they're charging the prices they're charging right now. They're telling everybody, hey, you know, we're going to go to AVs. We're going to do, you know, driverless. We're going with, you know, different type of drivers. We're going with DoorDash, employees. So what are we doing? We're fighting back. We are the resistance. This is the resistance. You're seeing it every day on Facebook, on YouTube, on Instagram, on TikTok. We are the resistance to the machines. That's exactly what we're doing right now. A lot of people are, they're missing the boat. They're, oh, I'm going to keep abiding by the TOS. I'm trying to be, you know, Uber's number one driver. We're fighting right now. We're fighting for our survival right now against AVs, against automation, against AI. This is the resistance. And we have companies out there who see us and notice what we're doing. And they're willing to stand with us. Trust me, next week I got something very important for you guys coming up. I will be doing a live stream next week. 
This is very important. The resistance is alive, and a lot of people are seeing it on this channel. They know exactly what I'm doing. They know what we're all doing. They know about the 300. They told me everything. Called my phone and told me everything. The resistance is alive. Y'all be ready. Be ready. Live stream coming up next week. Had to wear my battle fatigues and blend with the trees. Committing penalties. You ain't assembled with me. We the three double zero. A villain superhero. Angel Hall like De Niro. Cigars like Puro. Celebrate the hating that we get. Cause it's like that. Despite that. Despite that. You can put the pipe back. You jaded crack baby from the 80s. Cause you tripping. Time keep on slipping. But I'm gonna keep on lifting all my people out of poverty with missions and assignments. 11 11 tatted. Cause I stay in the alignment. I'm bringing all the smoke to your choke. Cause I'm on one. I'm not done. I fear. No man, do not run. The shit that you got is all the shit that I had. I've been up, now I'm on my landing pad like SpaceX.